many of us when we think about eels. We tend to think of them as being slimy, gross and altogether unattractive. But here at Pukaha Mount Bruce, just north of Masterton in the Wairarapa district, we're going to set the record straight and show you how amazing, beautiful and fascinating these animals really are. I got my waders on, ready to go. Chris is going to show me how to feed them, so let's go. Chris, what's so special about these gorgeous big eels here at Pukaha Mount Bruce? We want to make people realise that these are beautiful animals, you know. It's not just kiwis we look after here and, and kokako and some kaka, you know. These are, these are things that we need to love and cherish too. And so. are, are they native species as well, like our kiwi and our kokako? Yeah, well these, these are long finned eels uh, and these are only found in New Zealand, so they're endemic to New Zealand. So you can't find these anywhere else. And they've got the most amazing life cycle. If you see some of these bigger ones, we reckon that they're probably two metres long. You're looking at up to 80 years old. And not only that, they hang out around in waterways and rivers and then once and once only they breed and they go way up to sea somewhere off the coast of Tonga in the Pacific Islands, we don't know where, and they spawn and they die. And somehow their babies come back, don't they? They certainly do. And it's the current that brings them back to New Zealand. That's why they're only found here. It's amazing. What are the sort of threats to eels? Commercial fishing, taking too many from the river, because, uh, because of their life cycle, they only breed once at the end of their life. So if you take one out of the river before they've gone back to the sea, it wouldn't have bred, so it wouldn't have re replaced itself. Um, the other problem is, is habitat loss. You see all the beautiful trees here, native trees overhanging the banks. That keeps the river nice and cool. And um, yeah, it does a really good job in creating a really ideal habitat for them. Eels are sort of king of the food chain out here. They're the, the top predators of the waterways but they are a little bit vulnerable as well. So if you ever see an eel or you, you're lucky enough to pick up an eel for whatever reason and it's slimy, that's because it's frightened. So it's more frightened of you than you are likely to be of it. It uh, exudes a sort of mucus when it freaks out and makes itself all slimy. And the other time it'll do that is if it's a bit dry, if there isn't, isn't enough water around. What, what sort of things do you guys do here to, to protect them or to get people excited about them? OK, well, we feed them every day, and uh, as you can see, they, they like it. And we encourage the visitors to, uh, you know, to really appreciate these things, school groups, everything else. You said that you had some dessert in there for the eels, especially today. Pudding takes the form of a beautiful introduced species, a beautiful mouse. So what we'll do, we'll just plop this in, and we'll see if one can, can take it out of my hand. Well, he's thinking about it. Mm. He's got his mouth open. You can see those beautiful big Betty Davis eyes. Yeah, they do. They... Oh, he says, I'll have that. There you go. He's blowing bubbles at us. I know. There you go. There oh, you go, got him. Heart. Chris has got cold legs. He's decided to go up and get dry, but I'm going to stay behind and see how many other eels I can spot. They really are an amazing ancient species and next time you're passing a river or a creek, why don't you spare a thought for this incredible eel? <laughs>